Bienvenidos nuevamente a nuestro programa Get Understanding. Como pueden ver, estoy en compañía de mi amado esposo Ramson Mumba para invitarlos a que se queden a ver nuestro programa, que será de mucha bendición. We're so glad you could join us for today's broadcast and our prayer is that as we get into the word of God today, something of eternal significance will be deposited into your spirit and you will gain an understanding of the things that you have been asking the Lord about and answers will go forth and the word of God will change your life. We look forward to seeing you after the broadcast. El Shaddai International Christian Center is a community of people who are passionate about sharing the love, hope, goodness, and purpose of God to our generation. The El Shaddai I see is a prophetic church. It's a church with healing in their wings. It's a church that just don't know how to worship, but knows how to take free the word of God to a generation. It's a church that is vested and founded on revelation knowledge. It's a church that will prophesy life to a dying world. El Shaddai International Christian Center is a global vision with churches on three continents, four different countries, and 10 different cities. Our meetings are family-oriented with vibrant, extravagant worship and inspiring practical teaching from God's Word. It would be our pleasure to welcome you to this family, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Not even an angel from hell. We're talking about a preacher. An angel from heaven. Never mind the one from hell. As we go through this, you're going to find out most preachers work for the devil. They just don't know it. Their whole assignment is to assist the devil, not resist him. They assist him by putting you under the law and giving you what to do and then condemning you because you haven't qualified based on your behavior and they run you out of the church and Jesus nailed the law. The handwriting to the cross when it died. That's how it disarmed principalities and power. But every Sunday the preacher goes and not only takes what was wiped out, they write on it again and they parade it in front of the church, assisting the devil. Now you can't even believe with the little faith you had that God would even look at you because the preacher has just nailed you to your sin and your condemnation. You came in with a little hope and that even gets snuffed out of you. And we call that good preaching. An angel from heaven just preached another gospel and you said amen. When they hear somebody like me preach, preaching this, they say, oh, no, that's not the true gospel. That's not the real gospel. Last week, last Wednesday in Houston, I, walked, I compressed the whole New Testament in one session, one hour. I talked about the gospel that Paul preached versus the gospel that Jesus preached. I walked them from Matthew to Revelation and laid it on top of each other and there, was, there were no holes in those gospels. It's a perversion that has taken the church today. No wonder the church produces more bondage than it does freedom. No wonder there is no joy in the church. There's no love in the church. We preach on love and then we kill the church people. We are the only army that kills and shoots our wounded. And we do it in the name of upholding principle. What do you do when David walks into the temple and eats the showbread? And the Bible says he was guiltless. I'm going to leave this alone. Lord, have mercy. Because you don't even, Jesus, Jesus looked at the Pharisees. He told them, this is why you error. You neither know the scriptures nor the power of God. And you search the scriptures. Oh, you search them every day, thinking that therein you will know me. But you don't know that the scriptures. 
scriptures testify about me. He, he walked them on the road from, Emmaus to, uh, from Jerusalem to Emmaus, and he said, beginning with Moses, the first five books of the Bible, the Pentateuch, right up to the prophets. He didn't get to the Psalms because he explained that later in the upper room because the Old Testament in Hebrew is you know, divided into three. But he, he, he got through Moses and the prophets and, and notice what he was looking for. The thread that he was looking for every time he read the scripture, he was showing them himself. But you know what we do when you come to church? We show you yourself and what you must do. But Jesus said, when you read the Bible, don't look for what you ought to do. Look for me. Look for what I have done. And when you see what I have done, even if you've walked for seven miles depressed that your Messiah has died, when they saw Jesus, fresh life came back into them. And they ran back to Jerusalem. The same people were discouraged. Wonder why you can hardly make it happy through one day. You haven't seen Jesus lately. When you see him, your bills can't get you down. The sickness can't get you down. The fear can't get you down. The threats won't take your joy. Come on, somebody. When you see him, he is the life. He is the power. He is the provision. He, he, okay, okay, okay. And, and the issue is you've been listening to another gospel preached even by an angel from heaven and to nine, I, like the apostle Paul, declare a curse on that. It's another gospel. And then people say, well, you're preaching that because you just want people to be sinning. You're preaching that because you are men pleasers. I'm glad you said that. Can you read? Just read on. Verse 10, he said, well, if I want to persuade men, do I want to persuade men, oh God? Because if I am seeking to please men, I would not be preaching the gospel. So obviously, the guy who preaches to you what you must do to get the blessing is the man pleaser. But he accuses somebody like me who tells you, you can get it by faith for, just by believing. I'm not a man pleaser. It pleases the guy. It pleases the flesh when we tell you, you have a part, God has a part. You do this, God will do that. Oh, you're feeling like a man, you're feeling like a woman. And then we, when we tell you, you are not part of this equation, just get in on what Jesus did. You're like, huh? Now how am I going to boast? We are blessed because we fast every week. We are blessed because we've never missed church all our lives. We are blessed because we got a good education and God sent us to the best universities. <laughs> Hallelujah. We are blessed because I date my wife every week. You forgot to tell us she don't even enjoy the date, but you do it every week. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm going to leave you. <laughs> Just the quantity doesn't mean it's good. Yeah. We've been married for 48 years, but she's been trying to kill you the last 48 years. <laughs> what good is that? But because we're into pretenses, she's had three heart attacks because of you. But you want us to clap. I've been saved for 32 years. You haven't even left Kilburn. <laughs> you don't even know they've extended the M1. But you've been saved for 32 years. God has kept me. Hallelujah. God has kept you. No wonder nobody wants to keep you. Because <laughs> you are so mean. But you've been saved for 32 years. I mean, what kind of foolishness is this? Are we going to have a show to measure who's at the big thing? No. Perversion. Oh, I don't know whether to take you to the next one. I got... Ten more minutes? Uh -huh. Can you take it? Yes, Are you sure you can take it? Because yes, I'm about to go deeper now to the place where if you're still arguing, 
then you just want the curse. Because remember what's at stake. You go with the other gospel, you are cursed. Right. You come over here, I'm all, you're going to be seeing results like you've never seen before. And I, I want results. I've spent enough years digging a dry well. Come on, somebody. It's about time I had a flow. Somebody say a flow. Say it again. Flow. I, I don't want no do, 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 no flow. I'm tired of the trickle, the drip. No, no, no. Rain on me. And it's about to rain at the house of El Shaddai. I don't know about you. I don't even want no umbrella on this one. Rain. Okay, okay, okay. Let's read this. We got 10 more minutes. Let's look at this. So, so he said, he said, he said, if you preach the gospel of works, you please men. But look at what the devil has done. He has twisted it to where if we preach the gospel of grace to you, they say we're trying to please men. What was, I'm going to pick up the other part next week, but let me show you this. This is profound. What was the first horrible thing that Satan ever did to human beings? In Genesis chapter 3, he comes up to, uh, to Eve. He said, uh, did God really say, you shall not eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil? And then the next thing he says is, that's not true. Because God knows that the day you eat of the fruit of that tree, you'll be just like God. Look at the whole insinuation. God is not as good as you think he is. You think he wants you to know everything. He's keeping something from you. He can't be that good. I mean, you just believe and your sin are forgiven. You just believe and you get a house. You just believe and everything is yours. But he'd already told him in chapter 2, of every tree of the garden, you may what? Freely eat. Freely. Like, like no charge. Anytime. No permission needed from here on out. Freely. Everything is yours. Freely. And Satan said, he can't be that good. If it's too good to be true. It's probably not true. There you go again, being natural. If it's too good to be true, it is the gospel of grace. If it's too good to be true, it is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. If it is too good to actually make sense, it is probably from above. El Shaddai International Christian Center is a community of people who are passionate about sharing the love, hope, goodness, and purpose of God to our generation. The El Shaddai I see is a prophetic church. It's a church with healing in their wings. It's a church that just don't know how to worship, but knows how to take free the word of God to a generation. It's a church that is vested and founded on revelation knowledge. It's a church that will prophesy life to a dying world. El Shaddai International Christian Center is a global vision with churches on three continents, four different countries, and 10 different cities. Our meetings are family-oriented with vibrant, extravagant worship and inspiring practical teaching from God's Word. It would be our pleasure to welcome you to this family, and we look forward to seeing you soon. God is so good, but He couldn't possibly be that good. How about the miracle of the 5,000? He multiplied the fish and the loaves, and the Bible says he let them have as much as they needed. The only thing that determined the end of the supply wasn't God. It was as much as they could take. Yeah. So that blows the theory of you can't receive everything and anything you need. Well, if I still need it, the floor is there. 
The only thing that stops the fish and the food, the bread from multiplying is when they had had enough. Even when they had had enough, the little boy who sowed the seed got home with 12 baskets. Why? Because the seed will always yield a greater harvest, come on somebody, than the seed itself. So if you understand the kingdom of God, you're not scared to be involved in the kingdom. But as much as they needed, and when they didn't need it anymore, they determined when the supply stopped. He couldn't be that good. And he's over here saying, really? Not 10 confessions. We're going to get to this next week. Thank God for confessions. But you feel so guilty. Oh, I forgot my confessions. So I'm back to square one. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not run to them. <laughs> Your friends are together. What are you doing? Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. Uh, just, just my bad, my thing, you know. Just, every, okay, I'm sorry. You forgot you're at work, but you've got to get in 20 confessions. <laughs> yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of <laughs> <laughs> On the tube. No wonder you don't even look up because you got a book under there. They don't know underneath there, there are confession going. <laughs> People on the other side say, this gum they're chewing is very hard. I mean, uh, <laughs> but it's your confession time because you didn't wake up early enough. And you're working on healing. Come on, somebody. You're getting serious. I'm working on healing. <laughs> Why are you acting like a pig now? Just... <laughs> God don't want you snorting in public. Freely. I mean, like, can you take this? Let's see if you're, if you're beginning to believe. Because Jesus, you remember he told them, oh, ye of little faith. You know what he was telling them? You are slow to believe. A short burst of faith, and then you run out. Let, let me see if you can take this. I mean, freely. Like, like houses. I got two that are beginning to believe. Let me try again. That, that you didn't. Build freely, like vineyards. Nobody doing vineyards so many times now. You know we're not in, you know, France and South Africa and parts of the UK. But not many of you. So so let's talk about businesses that you didn't build. Come on, somebody. I feel that African dance coming. Come on, sir. <laughs> Business. Okay, okay, okay. You go. <laughs> Someone says, see, I told you this man is on something. I am on the HG. You, you ever heard that? Ever heard that before? The Holy Ghost. There is no high like the most high. I've been high with the other stuff, but there is, I can tell you right now, there is no high like the most high. Guess what? Guess what? Wells. You didn't dig. Somebody going to see this. Yo, I'm, I'm releasing a miracle. I don't know if you know this or you think I'm playing. I'm done preaching. I'm not, I'm not just getting it to you. Uh, I, I'm, talking about, I'm talking about long life that your genes can't provide. Uh, I'm talking about health in your flesh. When the doctor said something is in there, but the word of God becomes healing and health to your flesh freely. Restoration in your house. Wholeness and soundness. No more anxiety attacks. No more panic attacks. No more shortage. No more lack. Freely receive everything that he gave for you. And if you can believe, you can see the glory. Stand to your feet. Come on. Come on. Come on. Stand to your feet. Got to gotta close, because somebody, your miracle is here. Lift your hands up. Right. I, I don't, here is, what I'm, here is what you need to help me with. Please make a covenant with me. This is serious, El Shaddai London. I need you to catch that anointing. I don't want you to be slow to believe. Your miracle is here. Now I got to instruct you as your daddy, okay? Lift your hands up, come on. Freely. Don't let anybody distract you. Freely. This anointing is here. Won't take but a few moments. Shoko paranante keya. Riando konta teke. 
Shokoramakata. For this purpose, the Son of God was made manifest that he might destroy the works of the devil. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I release the anointing to destroy the works of the devil. Rasoko, come on, pray in the Holy Ghost. Now you gotta stir yourself up. Rasotetelika, Rampasoko, Shite, Rakato Teleke. Be made whole today. Be made whole today. In the name of Jesus. Rakaso Terike, Rando Soko, Rakariando Papa. Robo Shatai, Riendeke Sokoma. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Now say this after me, Heavenly Father. Today, I choose to believe that Jesus is my substitute. From this day forward, I am in Him. Therefore, I refuse to work, to earn, to merit your goodness. Every good and every perfect gift is mine right now because of Jesus Christ. I receive financial freedom. I refuse to be under pressure. I curse the spirit of lack. Every sickness, every disease is under the curse. And I am redeemed from the curse of the Lord because Jesus Christ became a curse for me. Today, I refuse to walk in guilt and condemnation from this day forward. I believe what the blood has accomplished for me. By the blood of Jesus, there's nothing wrong with me. Therefore, as I lift my hands, come on, lift those holy hands. As I lift my hands, I lay hold. I receive the manifestation of my inheritance. In Jesus' name, now give the Lord your best shout. Come on. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, can you sense? Miracles are still happening. My wife and I were praying and the Lord said, every time you stand to minister from now on, the atmosphere above you will be pregnant with supernatural manifestations. And if my people would receive the word, and look to Jesus, not to themselves. Look up like Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. And everybody that looked up, looking unto Jesus. Let him finish what he started in you. You get a hold of your miracle. Lord, we give you thanks. The honor, the majesty, the glory, the dominion and the praise belong to you. We yield and submit to your Lordship. Thank you for taking center stage in this house. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for healing us. Thank you for providing for us. Thank you for delivering us. Thank you for bringing our sons home. Thank you for bringing our daughters home. 
thank you for reconciling moms and dads and spouses, taking the spirit of division from among us. Thank you for healing our homes. Thank you for healing our broken hearts. Thank you for carrying our pain. Thank you for carrying our wounds and our hurts. We look to you, Jesus. We receive you with all that you are. In Jesus' name. Esperamos que el programa haya sido de mucha bendición para ustedes. Los amamos profundamente. No dejen de enviarnos sus mails, sus testimonios, sus uh, peticiones de oración. Para nosotros es un gusto poder recibirlos. Denos una llamada telefónica. Siempre estamos a la orden para bendecirlos, para orar con ustedes y para creer juntos en las bendiciones de nuestro Señor para nuestras vidas. We are always excited when we hear from you because your testimonies and of course your prayer requests cause us to be engaged in the process of everything that the Lord is accomplished in and through you. So don't hesitate. Pick up the phone, email us. You know the way to contact us. We want to be a part of the unfolding miracle of your life. But we don't want to close the broadcast today without praying for you again, believing for the very best that God has for you. So Heavenly Father, today in the name of Jesus, Estrella and I release our faith on behalf of our radio, internet, and television audience that your anointing would begin to remove every burden and destroy every yoke and bring them to the place of wholeness because that is your will for all their lives. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, until next time, this is Ramson and Estrella reminding you that wisdom is the principal thing, therefore, you get wisdom, and in all of your getting, get, get understanding. understanding. God bless you. Thank you for watching Get Understanding with Ramson and Estrella Mumba. This broadcast has been made possible by friends, partners, and viewers like you in this area. We trust that you've been blessed, and thank you in advance for your continued prayers and generous financial support. For information about our ministries or to download our free podcasts, visit us at www.elshaddaitoday.com. 